Hi guys and welcome back to MCAS. Today I'm a tourist. We're in Rome to check out a boutique of a brand that chose Rome as its main scenario for the heart of Italy. We're going to discover the new collection presented in Geneva. So come with me to discover the Hublot boutique here in Piazza di Spagna in Rome. So we're finally seated in the most important boutique for Hublot in Italy as it's the boutique that saw the birth of the first Hublot with Roman numerals, the limited edition and special edition dedicated to Rome and to its sunsets. And I decided to pick up five watches to sum up the novelties for this 2022 starting from a completely new shape for the brand which is the square bang. The spirit, actually, <laughs> in my eyes of nowadays Hublot, so a couple tourbillons with sapphire case, in my opinion, the non plus ultra of what Hublot is able to do. Something related to art, so a classic fusion for Orlinsky. And my actual favorite novelty of this watch fair, which I've already seen in, in Watches and Wonders, but it's always great to see and have on wrist, being the watch I would really choose for summer, which is the Big Bang Integrated Ceramic in new colors, especially this green one, which is the one that gets me the most. Let's start with the Square Bang. As I told you, I'm here in Rome, Piazza di Spagna, the most visited place in Rome, in the whole capital of Italy. Uh, it's amazing, you can tell from the steps, from the flowers and everything, so I think it's a great place to check out some watches and uh, lucky I'm doing it today. So, back to our square bang. It's a watch that I uh, really have trouble seeing on myself as it's pretty big for me, but it's a new shape, just testifying how shaped watches are getting really appreciated in the market and uh, that can guarantee more fun for the brands using them. I like the fact that it's a chronograph because it uses the whole space on the dial, but as I told you, it's way too big for me, but I appreciate it in gold as it creates a great contrast that I truly like. Now we go to really two watches that got my full attention and uh, that I really am seeing that are being appreciated by many, many more people every day. Tourbillons on two, let's say, shades. A purple one and an orange one being the purple one a automatic watch with a micro rotor at 12 creating a great symmetry in the overall dial and the orange one a hand winding one with a two no case which is super interesting and super well fitting on the wrist as much as the other one is another time too big for me. They really represent in my eyes what Hublot is capable of and how it can achieve new, let's say, emotions somehow because, you know, when you have a watch like that in your hands, whether you're a fan of the brand or not, you just have to admit it rocks because it does. It's a skeletonized one with a beautiful and well-executed case in sapphire colored one with a pretty funny strap. It's a fun watch, but it's more than that. Going a bit further than this, we have a novelty, which is the Orlinski. The Orlinski is the most wearable watch among these ones, now with a fully integrated bracelet in titanium. Fits perfectly on the wrist, creates a lot of shades and, col and not colors, but you know, there's a great dynam dynamicity and dynamic on the overall dial with all these layers and different angles. Not a big fan of the bracelet, but still it's a well-proportioned watch and I really appreciate the fact that it's for once a really kind of small watch compared to these ones. And then let's conclude the store on these novelties with what I truly found incredible. I mean, that's the definition to me of fun watch. Fun watch, summer watch, whatever you want to call it, it's really a watch that you can enjoy 100%. You can play with colors. The green version to me is fantastic. Not just being green, maybe the most popular color nowadays, but it really is a great shade of green. 
the ceramic is kind of a you know not that heavy it's kind of light whereas great on the wrists it's the watch i really see myself on the seaside just you know enjoying life somehow maybe in rome as well not with that color maybe with the sahara one a bit more but really i appreciate all of the colors uh three out of four in palette so you know uh kind of a good luck for me and uh this was my actual selection from this watch and wonder 2022 love the boutique in rome if you ever pass by just get in and uh, maybe look for the limited edition maybe you will be luckier than i am and nothing let me know your favorite one in the comments now i will enjoy a great catch with pepe for you as well so thank you for being here thanks to you blow for having me let me know your favorite one among these five and the other one you've seen and see you in the next video.